What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Uh, my days have been pretty uneventful um, these past two days. So I'm filming this on Thursday, Tuesday and Wednesday uh, for my part-time job. I picked up two new shifts. I was been working 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. So my sleep schedule is a little bit, you know, weird, kind of messed up right now. I've been sleeping in a little bit later than what I normally sleep to. Um, so my day has been pretty, pretty uneventful. I basically woke up, kind of took a shower, you know, picked up my room and stuff like that, and I went to pick up these packages. Um, I have two unboxings to do for you guys today. I hope the, um, actually, I'm going to go shut that real quick. All right, there we go. So uh, my room in my apartment is like the hottest room in the house for some reason. I don't know why it like holds the hot air so much. So I keep my window open pretty much year round to let cold air in. Um, but there was a lot of traffic going by, so I didn't want that to uh, disturb this video. But back to what I was saying, I went and picked up two packages from the mailroom. Um, so I have two unboxings to film for you guys today. The first one I'm gonna jump into, uh, this is coming from Jacob Creates. Uh, so Jacob Ginsburg is the creator and the owner of Jacob Creates. And he is, I, I wouldn't say he's full custom, but I wouldn't say he's full production either. Uh, but he's a knife maker. He's kind of somewhere in that sweet spot in the middle of semi-production, semi-custom, you know, kind of somewhere in there. Um, and I learned about him from Jake over at Bearded Gear, my buddy Jake. He is friends with uh, Jacob Ginsburg, and, you know, he's chatted with him a lot. And that's how I kind of got to, you know, be exposed to him. Um, and I've followed his work for a little while. Uh, I never... For some reason, I realized I never followed him on Instagram, but I'd always look on his website just to see, you know, the models he was coming out with and the stuff he had on for sale. But I never followed him on Instagram for some reason. Um, but over the weekend, I came across, actually it was Friday. Friday, I came across him on Instagram and he announced that he was doing a drop of his newer model called the Chickadee, um, which is a real small, you know, pretty pretty easy, easily carried fixed blade. I'm losing track of what my adjectives I want to use are um, on Instagram. So I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't follow him. So I gave him a follow and I, he announced that the drop was happening on Saturday. So I found him on Friday and the drop was happening on Saturday at, I want to say it was 10 a.m. Pacific time. So that was 1 a.m. here in Pennsylvania. And I got on right at 10 a.m. And something with the site, I don't know if he had trouble uploading everything, but I basically sat there and refreshed and refreshed and refreshed for probably 20 to 25 minutes um, until he finally put them on because there was only seven of these. Um, I got the, he calls them the Blood Moon, um, which is like a, to me it's like a sort of a blood red colored micarta uh, handle with S35VN. He did seven of those and then he had one of the, it was Magna Cut in, um, Cerberus Night Forks did like a DLC coating or nano coating on it. He had one of those. So total of eight knives, but the one I wanted, there was seven. Um, so there wasn't a whole lot to go around. That's why I was on the website um, right at one o'clock, you know, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. And after a while, I was like, you know, something must be, he must be having trouble on his end for uploading everything and whatnot. But I figured, you know, that might push more people away be like they might get discouraged and be like you know I, I can't get a knife i don't i don't want to sit here all day and refresh so i kept doing that eventually i got one um so i did all, for the price of this uh it was one i think it was 187 195 with shipping um so to offset that price i did sell my microtech ludt which if you guys saw my last video i used it to unbox um, the package from jake that i got in one more time but that's uh in the mail off to its new owner I'm a little upset. I'm not upset, but I'm a little. I'm a little sad to see it go because, like you guys know, it was one of my favorite knives. Um, I just it didn't get the pocket time it deserved, and I figured, you know, you know, get rid of it, get some money in to try some new things, and that's what I did. So, but I, like I said, I will definitely be getting one of those in the future, um, for sure. That is a knife that I will definitely have back in my collection. But today's unboxing knife is the Wee Upshot. Um, this is one of the knives, or these are one. Of, this is one of the knives, I guess that I have unboxed from Jake, that I bought from him. Really, really enjoying this knife. Um, the action is quite good on it. I, you know, I expected to like it, but I'm really, really liking it, borderline loving it. So definitely gotta have this piece in. But it's in this little uh, priority mail slip. We'll get this open. Just 
little slice in the cardboard. Anything else in here? I don't think there will be anything else in here. Nope, toss that to the side. And that's cool that he sends um, them in like these little bags. And as you guys can already tell, it's, it's, a, it's not a big knife. Uh, but really cool, it's in like this canvas wax bag or something like that, sack. A little drawstring, which is cool. He has some, try to pull this out. And this is actually smaller than I thought, but we're gonna, you know, that's a good thing. All right, so here is the Jacob Creates little, you guys can pause and see that, his little business card, his little logo. And then here is the knife, guys. This thing is, it's actually smaller than I thought. Um, so I, I am a little, I'm not, I don't know. It's smaller than I thought. I will say that. I don't really know what else to say, but as long, I mean, I, I wasn't looking for a very big knife. So, um, then it says here it has a little stamp on it. Um, Blood Moon, DOS 35VN, handle, canvas micarta, sheath is in a carbon fiber kydex, and then HRC is 61 to 62, and then his signature. You guys can pause this and read that. And I, I just, I really like the colorway on it. Um, I like the micarta that it comes with. He, I think he did a good job with that. has a soft loop and then this red my, uh, kydex, carbon fiber kydex is really nice. So we'll, we'll pull it out. Yeah, guys, and this is small. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I guess I, I knew it was going to be small. Um, and just in my head, I didn't realize it was going to be this small. But you guys can see, it's really nice grime there. And this is called the Chicky, like I said. It has some oil. Um, but it's actually, I can still fit three fingers on it. Which... In my, like I said, I, I have not been looking for, or I have been looking for a, a fixed blade to carry, you know, EDC style, horizontal, uh, or scout carry on the waist, like appendix area. Um, but I just, I've been looking for something small and discreet and just not, you know, not big and not something that's going to print because I am a, like, a, I'm a chunkier dude. I'm a, I'm a bigger dude. Um, so I have a little bit of a gut up front, but I, to me, this is nice and small. Um, like I said, it is smaller. I've, I've already said that, but I'm kind of just still taking it in how small it really is. Um, but I can still fit three fingers on it, which is good for a knife this small. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice. It has it feels really good. My card is done very, very well. Nice full tang there. And then the, the sheath is really well done too. I love that red carbon fiber. I think that's an awesome touch. Great retention. Kind of has a little thumb ramp right here. Just pull it off. Yeah, it's definitely small, but I think, uh, I don't know. For the tasks that I would want to use it for, I think that it's going to be fine. We'll see how the edge. Great edge. Hey guys, so this is the Jacob Creates Chickadee. I will leave a link to his Instagram and his website down below. Um, I don't, he like I said, he does these in like drops, small drops of, I want to say I, have, I haven't seen a drop of 10 or more. Um, I could be wrong, but you know, they're generally single digit drops because he, he makes these pretty much by hand and does everything by hand. So, I don't know, it'll be a little bit getting used to carrying. It's, it's kind of like a little, I don't know, like a little, it feels almost like a little toothpick knife, but it's, you know, it's really well made, nice and thin behind the edge, and it's pretty thick for how small it is, so I already showed you guys that, but. Get a nice little thumbnail picture. My card feels really, really good. It's kind of like, has some, it's right in the middle, good texture, but not, because some, some of my card can be really polished and not grippy enough, and some can be like, super dry and super grippy, but this will definitely warm up with my oils in my hands. Um, yeah, just definitely very cool. It'll just take me a little bit to get used to, um, but I'm definitely, you know, I bought this knife to carry it. I bought it to try it. And I mean, that, that foot, there's literally no footprint right there when it's on your waist. So 
um, for what I needed to do, I think it's gonna gonna do very well. So I will do a uh, full review on this. Um, I, I might wait a little bit longer than I normally do, and I already I say that now, but I you know my reviews can come anywhere between two weeks to two months, just depending on when I get around to it, when I feel like I can do a review with it. Um, but this I I definitely might wait a little bit longer. Um, just because some days, you know, if I have gym shorts on or if I have sweatpants on, I might not carry it as much. But anytime I have jeans on, um, this thing will definitely be on the waistline on my belt. Um, definitely a cool, cool offering from Jacob. Uh, just got to get used to the size. And I think I'm going to. Um, it's just not, I don't think I've ever held a knife this small before. Um, but I'm definitely excited. Um, before I... I just noticed he also has his maker's mark right there in the carbon fiber. You guys can catch that right there below the um, the little clasp. So that's cool. I like that he did that kind of a little personalized billboarding touch, but very subtle at the same time. So, all right, guys, um, that's going to be all for today's video. Like I said, a full review on this will be up, you know, probably within the next two months. Um, don't be, you know, super on the lookout for it because I want to carry it. I want to get some good use out of it before. But I really like the packaging. Uh, I like that he, you know, puts a little canvas, you know, kind of wax canvas sack in here. That's definitely cool. Um, like I said, I will leave a link to his Instagram and his uh, cha or channel, his website down below. If you guys are interested, please go check him out. Uh, he seems like a really cool dude and he makes some very cool products. So I'm definitely glad to have one in the collection and we'll see how, how I like carrying it. But like I said, that's all for today's video, guys. Um, if you happen to like this video, I don't say this very often, but please consider clicking like and maybe clicking sub uh, subscribe. I can't talk right now. Um, but, you know, if you guys if you guys are people that, you know, like my channel and like the content and continually come back and you watch the videos I produce but you aren't subscribed, maybe consider clicking subscribe just because it helps me out. Um, I'm on the road to 500. I think I have... I'm 32 away, um, and I almost have everything I need for my... Uh, 500 subscriber giveaway which will be pretty cool i'm very very excited for that guys so be in the lookout and yeah i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace